So guys, Hell Clash back here with Lineage 2 Revolution video. Morning of the patch. Let's check out what's going on. Big things you see is their expansions on the Tower of Insolence, the Vark Clan Dungeon, as well as the Rifts and Elite Dungeons. So let's take a look. <clears throat> Make sure you go into your inbox and collect the uh, free soul shots. Um, let's start with the Clan Dungeon. And then we're going to go ahead and attempt to do uh, level 80 of the Tower of Insolence and see what we should do with that SR uh, attribute stone. So, uh, Clan Dungeon. You can see here there's the new Very Hard. Um, and you can see the bonus there is you get a lot more uh, upgrade materials for your Clan Cloak. You get this Ancient Clan Relic, um, which will probably be in the Clan Storage for prizes and things like that. So that should be pretty cool. Um, you still only get uh, the, the two Healing Strike pages. Um, accessory box and some other stuff. So um, it'll be good. We'll check this back when I have time to clear it. Haven't had time to go into this with their clan to find out how hard this really is. Recommended CP is 800,000. So we'll definitely see on that. In Elite Dungeons, we have two new dungeons. Uh, Dragon's Crater and Tainted Dragon's Crater. I believe one of them is just a regular um, dungeon. And then the other one is a PvP dungeon. Um, so these eggs... There's one of these awards in your inbox this morning, so make sure you grab that. Um, we'll be opening the one we got for free, but <clears throat> definitely going to want to clear this every day. But it might be a little more difficult than you think if people are out there attacking you. So more on that when I have time to check that out. And then we have the new Rift levels. So if you didn't think the Rift levels were difficult enough already or time staking, they've added a hard level. Um, so I think I haven't been in there yet, but I'm thinking this is going to require you to have a lot more uh, elite gear leveled up both armor and weapons to make it through the mobs as well as your red weapons uh, and gear powered up for the the magical bosses at the end so remains to be seen grumbling in world chat here in gear 01 is that it's very very difficult so more to come on that after i've had a chance to sample it myself let's uh let's jump into the tower of insolence and go for level 80 so i cleared the first nine levels this morning already um, I found it to be fairly easy at my CP. I'm hovering pretty close to 850. I used my PvP gear uh, to do all of it. Most of the monsters that I tapped on their health bar were um, either normal, mostly normal, and a few magical. So um, if you've got a really good normal world weapon or normal gear, that might make this a little easier. So we'll jump in this. I didn't use any soul shots this morning. I'm not sure how it's going to go. Um, I'll probably just turn them on to make this go quick. Um right now but I basically autoed through the first nine levels at my CP so we'll see how this goes um, I've definitely taken a little more damage than I did in the other one uh, I expected this one to be a little more difficult <clears throat> so maybe I'll just have to do a tiny bit of kiting here but we'll see how this goes so far no real problems using a few heal pots <clears throat> check these monsters again they're normal monsters so far to do a little bit of kiting here just to make sure we stay alive. Probably save our meteor for the final guy. <laughs> the cool thing is we're going to get this SR stone and then we'll talk about what to do with it. Um, I really think all SR stones, attribute stones, should be used <clears throat> on your rare weapons. Whether that's the blue or the red kind of depends to you um, if you do a lot of uh, fortress siege and do a lot of wars and pvp you're probably going to want um, to upgrade your blue weapon attribute enhancement and get that up um, if you're more pve then maybe the red's going to be a little better for you but this new dungeon also has a pvp element so um, <clears throat> that will maybe uh, weigh into your factors as well Oh, here comes the, uh, is this the last or the fourth one here? So again, as typically every five levels, you're fighting the bosses from the last five levels. Um, I actually think level 78 was slightly tougher than level 79, to be honest. <laughs> we'll save our, our, our rare skills for the last monster. Time check here, we're doing pretty well. Got about 40 seconds to mow down this last guy here, so hopefully we have enough time. Let's go get him. I guess we might be a little uh, 
tight for time here. We'll unload all our actives, try to get them down a little faster. <laughs> Looks like we'll get it. <clears throat> then we can grab that SR stone and open some of the boxes we've got today. There's been a lot of good rewards from the uh, the Tower of Insolence, a lot of Adina, so that's been pretty cool. Uh, if you don't do a lot of DPS, you might be a little close for time on this. So <clears throat> if you don't quite do a ton of DPS, um, like my character, if you're a tank or a healer, we got a battle achievement for that. Um, you may need to get some feasts or maybe some uh, attack clan buffs. Now that we're done, we'll want to auto-clear that, take the rewards. Nice little bump in Adina. Picked up quite a bit of Adina today. <clears throat> Lecture Adina every day in the auto-clear once you get that completed. We'll farm some scrolls while we take a look at what we have here. Take a look at the new level 80 uh, achievement. Get some Adina there. Let's jump into our inventory and check out what we have here. For There's my new red rare. I finally got that through a combine. Let's check out. We should have our SR stone. Right there. There it is. I've also got a couple <clears throat> S's from the rifts and from the attribute energy. Now let's see what we got in our... Uh, this was one of the rewards for the rift. I'm hoping for a Nassen or an Elven piece here. Black ore. Not really using that, but we'll hold on to that. Um, some accessory storms from the Conquer Shop. Let's just kind of click through some of these stuff that we have built up here. As you can see, there was nice big chunks of Adena through the uh, Tower of Insulin. So that's a nice chunk. 320,000 Adena uh, will definitely help upgrade some things. Let's see what we have in this egg that we got from our login. You can see this has got a lot of uh, forgotten pages, enhancement scrolls, blessed scrolls, things like that. Uh, so let's see what we got. Absolute Shield. I have so many of those. All right, last thing to do is let's look at... Uh, so I think, really, for me, it comes down to what do I use that RS stone as which one of these weapons. <clears throat> I think I lean blue because I still have a lot of work on the red, but it's very tempting to use the red. Um, so let's go in here. Uh, enhance Attributes. Let me know what you guys think. Should I have done the blue or the red? What's your opinion? Right now I have no bonus because I've cleared all those. Um, so if you have a bonus chance from previous stones, you definitely want to use up S's and R's and get a level complete on any weapon you're trying to attribute before using the SR because the SR is 100% guaranteed. But since we have no bonus chance because we got the last one, we are going to take our rare weapon to level 8 so we can do more damage against other players. So... There we go. Almost 30% damage against other player bonus. And that'll be it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Check out my other Lineage 2 videos in the playlist, in the comments, the cards. Um, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter at Heliclash. Like, comment, and subscribe, and catch you next time.